Um, indeed, we will talk about uh, text categorization and we will do it with Elasticsearch. My uh, name is Aline. I am a French uh, developer from Adeline and we are uh, experts in search engines. Uh, we are located in France. You will see it quickly with my little Frenchy accent. Uh, so today we will talk about uh, text, uh, a way of categorizing test, text um, with using only an elastic search engine. No machine learning, nothing complicated. We will just use an index and make searches on it. So for this, we will use a, a, a database, a data set of uh, articles from the BBC, which are already categorized. We will index them uh, with storing the term vectors, which are statistics about the different terms. And finally, we will use a more like this query, we will, which will do the job. Um, and uh, we will see how it works. Basically, to, to show you quickly, um, the more like this query, um, all, the, all the documents in the index are represented here in a, in a space. And uh, any new text we will introduce and try to, to compare or to get uh, more similar articles. Um, the, this test would be placed into this space model. And um, then we will try to find things in the space that are quite similar. But let me get to the demo directly, which will be uh, probably more uh, speaking and meaningful. So here I have an index named the test classif. Uh, which is populated with these uh, articles. I think there is more than 2,000 articles in the index. Um, and to see the mapping is very simple. It's, it's really, really simple. We have uh, the category here, which is a keyword, and the text, which is type text, analyzer is English. And we also store uh, the term vectors. And well, it's not mandatory to store, the, store this, but uh, this will store statistics of terms within the index um, and this is useful then for the analysis of the text and the more like this query um, to show you quickly term vectors is um, something you can use against your index and will be calculated on the fly if for example here i, I take a, a text from elastic community conference and i run the term vectors um, for every text terms in, in in the text it will calculate here for example uh, uh, ad hoc. Um, it will it will um, analyze it and, and calculate the frequency, the well different various uh, data about the different terms, and then um, to classify them. So um, here I can show you rapidly in my index which categories I have. I already have a data set, and I have five categories with a, a rather um, equal repartition. Um, I will perform a search here, um, if you can see, uh, a query with, a, well, type more like this uh, with within the different fields. And I will paste here or, or give it here uh, some text. And how it will work? Well, it will do the more like this query and get similar uh, articles. And to get the category of this article, I will make here an aggregation uh, on the different categories. And to make it uh, even more precise, I will calculate the average scores of the documents within each category um, so that I can uh, then order the terms, um, the aggregation terms, in uh, order them by average score. So that when we'll, we'll run this query, the, the, the first result will be probably the category of the article. So I have some articles here, for example, here one from Reuters. Um, I can show it to you. It is here. It's an article about aerospace and defense, about uh, Airbus, well, planes. Um, and if I run, so if I show you here, I have exactly the same, uh, the same uh, request. I pasted the text, text here and most probably the response will be that in the classification, the first one is business, and it's a bit about politics because there were countries and all. 
So you can see here business and politics. And it works really amazingly well with any article I could find. Uh, for example, recently I just had a look at Sky Sports and get got sports article. I think I pasted just this one, which is very recent. Oh, I don't remember what this one. Well, you've got here a sports article, uh, which gets directly, this is a sports article, a bit about tech maybe, because I don't know if there was maybe some info about, I don't know, maybe, or some noise, or maybe there was actually tech in that. Um, we also have here, um, an, well, a obituary uh, um, about Betty Davis, for one, um, and this is definitely if I run it, entertainment here. Well, a bit of tech, but uh, you've got that. Uh, the, the the second category can be very meaningful as well. For example, I had a Formula One example. Um, this one, Lando Norris. Well, Formula One example. If if I copy paste some some of the text here, um, I will get I will get. Uh, let's see. Here, uh, well, sports and text normally, but I think I didn't paste uh, enough text. It's very long. Uh, we can see with the, this example that uh, this classification of articles, uh, also because we had this uh, data set, works very well when the, the, the text is quite long um when when it's shorter it's a bit more difficult to categorize it but well we had the uh, here the sports and tech and entertainment so we are quite good a lot of time on the classification so um as you saw very simple more like this query and you've got a powerful uh way to categorize text only with an index and that's it for me <laughs>